what we're going to do is we're going to give the necessary nutrition for the hair follicles to regrow. The hairs grow in three stages. There is the antigen, the growth phase, there is the catagen, which is the death phase, and there's the telogen, where they are slowly shedding off. Each one has a different time duration. On average, it's about three years of the antigen, although that changes depending on the age of the person. You look at Botticelli's Venus, uh, the Roman name for Aphrodite, you see she has got long, long hair. And that's something that's associated with youth. As we get older, the antigen, the growth phase, shortens. And so the hairs start falling when they're not as long. And people say, oh, let's do a haircut, they'll grow better. No, it's just what happens, they're less heavy. You don't notice as many hairs falling because the longer the hair, the more mass it looks like you're losing. And it's not really making a difference as for the hair regrowth. But that's the antigen phase. The catagen phase is when they go into a rest. They stop growing. And then slowly, that takes about three weeks on average. And then over three months, they are slowly being lost. You see that during pregnancy where they have beautiful hair because of the amazing nutrition that they get. And then three months after the pregnancy, they suddenly start losing their hair. That's because the nutrition that they were giving for the baby, that they were giving for the scalp, stops. Now, the same nutrition, the same idea is actually what's given probably in the placenta through the umbilical cord. And what we're doing is we're tapping into it using exosomes that are derived from mesenchymal stem cells from the Wharton jelly. The Wharton jelly is the special protection that surrounds the blood vessels. It goes right around the blood vessels. It's the most rich exosomal area. And we're drawing on that and we're giving that supply. So basically what we're doing is we're recreating that abundant growth factor supply that helps during pregnancy to the hair. We're recreating it to the scalp. I just need to a little bit massage the material inside. Sometimes you can press it. You can see it's a little red over there. So we know that it's penetrating. Some of it sometimes starts on the hair. So you need to make sure that you move the hair. You separate the hair out of the way as we're doing it. And that's what we're doing here. How are you? Is it painful? Yeah, um, it's Huh? It's okay. It's okay, yeah. So when Monica was doing it for me, that's how I felt okay too. She did a little deeper for me. I don't know if it made a difference, but actually I'm due for it because I feel like I'm starting to again lose some hair unfortunately and I was just thinking about it yesterday Monica because my hair was like I was putting my hand through my hair and my hair started falling and my wife was like you see that's Africa I had it after Africa also but then we've left Africa already was it a month yeah a month more ago she thinks the water there made a difference she lost it right away so you can see it's a little red the scalp and that means that you are the right depth now, men and women lose hair in different regions. That's why there is female pattern genetic alopecia and male pattern genetic alopecia, androgenetic, in case I was swallowing my words. The female pattern is mostly what we call a reverse Christmas tree pattern appearance, where it begins wider here, narrower here, and they maintain the frontal hairline. You see the crown also you lose, just like in male, but they usually don't have the temporal balding. That's more related to testosterone working on the scalp. There are a lot of different treatment options that you can use. And even though it's not FDA approved, you can use, and I have used the same peels that we use for male, like digestride and finasteride. Digestride is more effective in blocking the 5-alpha-1 reductase receptors. There are two receptors, 5-alpha-1 reductase 1 and 2, and the digestride what's about 96 to 98%, while the finasteride only about 78%. So if you want to start with a milder one, start with a finasteride, and then when you see it's not working enough, you can move on to a stronger one. Now, how fast would you see results? 